Good afternoon, everybody. We're going to take the next two minutes and do a quick recap on all the sales activity for 2016. And the question that gets asked this time of year is, what can we expect for the new year? So let's quickly get started. As far as the number of homes sold in 2016 in San Joaquin Hills, we have 46 closed escrows. And we're going to be comparing all the data with the, with the rolling last five years because it really is painting a very clear picture on where we've been and where we're going. What we do now is we're going to compare what the highest sale price was per home year after year. In 2016, we had a record-breaking sale price of 1760 And in 20 years of the history of development, that's been the highest recorded sale, which is a far cry from 2012 when we only had one home that broke the million-dollar mark at a million one. When you take the average sales price of development, this is different than the median sales price. It's much more accurate when you take all the sales and just divide what the average sales price was. 2012, we had an 802 average. Every year it's gone up. And 2016, we finished at 1,117,000. Now, here's where the numbers paint that story I was talking about. In 2012, we got to remember, we came out of seven years of a down market. And from 2012 to 2013, we had a 16% appreciation factor. That's a big number. The following years, we saw 8%, 8%. And in 2016, even though we saw record high sales prices, overall, we had a 1% appreciation factor. Now, these numbers are specific for San Joaquin Hills. However, we've taken all the sales on Lagoon de Gale, and these numbers and percentages and averages come out to be right about the same. So the question people are asking, Joe, is this sustainable? Can this continue, and what can we expect? for 2017. Well, there's always some wild cards year after year, but 2017 is no different. So let's take a look at those wild cards. On the pro side there, for the last few years, we've had a consistent shortage of inventory, not only with the number of homes for sale, but buyers are also looking for quality. Most importantly here, they're willing to pay for it, but they're also willing to wait. So what that has done, it just keeps the pressure on the existing homes that are on the market, and it keeps that pressure on pricing upward. Cons are affordability. The, when you're talking six, seven, eight percent continued growth year after year on a million dollar price range, that makes those numbers rather large and buyers have a hard time keeping up, but probably more importantly, their wages have just not kept up at that same rate. Interest rates are going to play a big role in that, even though for 13, 14 years we've had historic low rates. Luckily, down the pipeline, we're seeing Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae are going to be offering some new mortgage products in a responsible way that are going to help buyers ease into the market. That's going to be good for them. It's also going to be good to keep pressure on that pricing. The economy as a whole, we all know that when there's positive news coming out, there's a new administration coming out, and things change monthly. If the economy shows signs of health and there's consumer behavior that's showing positive uh, a reaction there, that's just going to help the market as a whole. And we can't really predict that because so much is going to change in 2017. So with that said, ultimately, the first quarter, though, I could tell you with confidence that there's so much momentum coming out of 2016 that it's going to be a seller's market for the first quarter. The second and third, fourth quarter is uh, wild cards, too. I don't think anything drastic is going to happen, but I think we won't be able to predict that until we go month by month by month. Ultimately, the only thing that matters when you're buying and selling your home, what are your plans? What are your goals? If you'd like to put together a very strategic plan or have some specific questions, please give us a call direct. If not, like we always say, until we meet, you take care.